Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the walk garden at Stansted Park and today is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. When I say Stansted, that is not to be confused with Stansted Airport. We're somewhere completely different. We're down um, on the West Sussex, Hampshire border area and we've come to this, it's a stately home. The actual house is over there. That building there, that's the roof of the chapel. And as I said, we're in the wall garden. We're gonna find our way though to the Miniature Railway. It's really quite a nice place. So you've got some really nice gardens here. Up there, there appears to be a tea room in the old greenhouses. There's a big garden center with another tea room. It's that time of year, you know, when all the daffodils and all the flowers are out. So it all looks rather nice. So I'm gonna make my way through this maze of various walled gardens and we should find the railway. So maze, farm shop, etc. Um, this is the Stansted Maze. This isn't open today, but if you're visiting, it's something else you can do. It costs £2.50 per person. Looks quite fun um, to find your way to the middle. We're not going to be able to do that today, though. So we're going to walk through here. Um, we are now coming into part of the garden centre. So you've got a garden centre there. There's a farm shop there. And then around the corner, you may have just heard the sound of a horn of a train we should find a little railway station. And I'm really excited about this because it's a railway I've never been to before. It's a railway I've been meaning to visit for a while. I did think about coming by train. The nearest railway station is Rowlands Castle on the Portsmouth direct line, the line that runs down through Petersfield down towards Portsmouth. I didn't in the end because I realised it was going to be a two mile walk from Rowlands Castle railway station. But if you're feeling energetic, it's not out of the question to come here by train. So in there is the main garden centre. And um, it did have also, it's a second-hand bookshop, and they were selling them at a reasonable price, so I bought some quite interesting books. But that's what we're going to do, railway. Let's go down here. Ahead I can see a little sign saying entrance, so that must be the railway station. So I'm going to go, go and buy my ticket, and we're going to go for a ride. It's a seven and a quarter inch gauge railway. I think it's going to take us off around the Arboretum, which will be quite nice, so we'll get to see a bit more of the gardens of Stansted Park. And then we'll, we'll have a ride, do a bit of line siding, and then um, I'll maybe go for a bit of a walk. So here we are, the entrance to the Stansted Park Light Railway. I'm going to go and buy my ticket. Then. Uh, just a little safety announcement for you then everybody, uh, please remain seated at all times, try and keep arms and legs and children in the coaches if possible, there are overhanging branches and trees quite close by so it's uh, you'll hurt your hands, if you're tempted to do the selfie thing the trees will win and break your phone, so just be, just be aware of that, other than that enjoy.
inside. You've got to come out into the estate itself. That building there, that's the chapel. If you were to come on up there, you can visit the chapel. And of course, the house itself. But it seems the house isn't open on the same days as the railway. There might be some days where both are open, so just beware. So uh, as much as I'd like to go in the house, it's not open today. So maybe I'll come back another time and visit the house. But today's visit was maybe about the railway. The estate is very, very vast. Now, if you look out that way, I mean, it goes on, I say, two miles that way is Roland's Castle Station. And there's a clearing through the trees. It runs for two miles. <laughs> so if you were to come by train, you'd be walking up there, I can see people, it comes to the point of out in the far distance, there are people down there, so like I say, you could come by train, get, get a train to Rose Castle, on a nice day when it's not so windy and cold as today, it's probably a good, a good walk all the way up there, and uh, you'll be looking at the house, you know, get, as you go closer and closer, and then of course, you can go over there, there's two tea rooms here, you've got a big shop, it's, um, there's, there's a lot to do, so I've had a really nice day, I think one day, Maybe in the future I'll come and try and visit the house. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Stansted Park, bye.